permit me to, to make this joke. A man went to Lagos. You know, for the first time. And he was impressed by what he saw in Lagos. Skyscrapers, flyover bridges, beautiful, you know, beaches and so on. So he got to the center of Lagos in Lagos Island. And he saw sky skyscrapers. And he was looking. Ha! Ah, ah, this tall. This. And somebody came and said, hey, who asked you to be looking at uh, these buildings? Don't you know? Do you think that it is free for you to look at bridges? He said, uh, uh, say, okay, how many have you, you, have you looked at? He said, uh, 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 I've only looked at uh, 10. Say, so, okay, for every 10, every one of the bridge that you look at, it is 100 naira. One building, 100 naira. Otherwise, I will arrest you now. He said, I've only looked at 10. And uh, okay, he counted 100 naira times 20. That's how much? 2,000 naira. I gave him. And when he left, he said uh, he's a fool. He doesn't know that I've looked more than 200. And I told him 20. Who is foolish? <laughs> so such was the condition of the people, especially vis-a-vis -vis the Jews. The, the Muslims had a problem with water. There was no water in Medina. And there was one well that was owned by a Jew. He was selling to the Muslims at exorbitant prices. You need water, you pay through your nose. And you know we cannot survive without water. Allahu Akbar Kabira. Sayyidina Uthman, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, was touched by this. The Prophet was concerned. And Uthman, Sayyidina Uthman went to the Prophet. He said, I want to buy this well. The Prophet said, that, that's, that's going to be beautiful. And he approached the Jew. I want to buy your well. And you know Jews, till today, till the end of time, they are always very smart. But the most Allah and the Prophet has taught us wisdom. It is now a battle between smartness and wisdom. The Jews were very smart. The Prophet taught us to be wise. And he said, well... I don't have money to buy this well. But can you sell half of the well to me? He said, half. You can buy half. He said, yes, I can buy half. And he gave him the price. And said the Uthman paid. He paid. Can you buy half of a well? No, tell me. Can you buy half of a well? Okay, you see wisdom versus smartness. And after paying, there was this agreement. Okay, we'll divide it. On my day, that means one day will be for me, another day will be for you. The water they fetch on my day, the money will be for me. The water they fetch on your day, the money will be for you. And the Jew was, was very happy. He said, foolish, foolish man, I still own the well. I still own the well. So they started. And Sayyidina Uthman Allah, mobilized the Muslims and said, please, go and buy water only on my day. Just go and fetch water. You don't need to pay because I've bought it. And then they went. They fetched water. On the other day, no one goes to buy water. No one. So after a long time, the Jew realized that he was making losses. And he said, this thing is no longer profitable. Can you buy all? He said, yes, I can buy it. But then it's, not, it's now going to be at my price, not at your price. I'm going to name the price. If you don't want it, then leave it. That is wisdom, not smartness. So Saidna Usman named the price, and he paid. And as soon as he, he took ownership of it, he made it work, work for the Muslims. Work, of course, all of us here knows what is work. Work is a means for making sadaqatun jariya. This is not the end of my story, but it goes further. 
So the well, there was an orchard. It mean, that, that orchard was owned by the Jew. It means if he wants to water the orchard, he has to buy water. So he said, okay, now you have bought the well, come and buy the orchard. Said, it's my, it's my prize. He bought the orchard. And then it bloomed. It, 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 it bloomed and blossomed. And then Sayyidina Usman bought all of the land surrounding that orchard. It means all of the land surrounding the Masjid in Nabawi was owned by the wife of Sayyidina Usman. Till today. All the five-star hotels around the Haram. Haram in Medina is still owned till today by the wife of Sayyidina Usman. Alayhi salatu was radiallahu ta'ala And all of the hotels leased the land from his wife. About three, three four years ago, they built a whole hotel, you know, five-star hotel, multi-story, in the name of Sayyidina Uthman. This was a wise investment, not a smart investment. This is what I'm going to be inviting us to make today. Wise investments, not only with our money, but including our money, but not limited to our money. What is the wise investment? There is no investment better than something that can, net, can never go bankrupt. Do you know a thing that cannot go bankrupt? They are the transactions you have with Allah. And the best of some of these transactions is to bring up your children. First, the Prophet said, Khairukum man ta'allama al-Qur'an wa'allama. The best of you is the one who teaches the Qur'an and learns the Qur'an. This is an investment that can never fail. No economic recession can, can affect it. Do you know that no economic recession can affect this kind of an investment? For yourself and for your children. Today, we are here to rejoice with our teachers and our children who have devoted their lives and their time to memorizing the Quran. I have seen people in the list from everywhere, from Lagos, from uh, Abuja, from Adamawa, from Bochi, from Cameroon, from Medina to Munawwara, from all over, coming to learn the Quran, coming to, you know, take their own light. You know, اكتبس من نوركم قيل ارجعوا وراءكم فالتمذوا نورا فضرب بينكم بسور له باب باب باطنه فيه الرحمة وظائره من قبله العذاب. So they have come to kindle from the light, and that is why people can come from Medina, because the Quran is light, and wherever it is, there will be light.